Daryl Spence versus Virgil Ortiz. I saw these guys going back and forth on social media. Thought to myself it'd be a pretty good fight because um, I thought they're in the same weight class, right? Virgil Ortiz been looking really good in his uh, most recent fights too. You know, he been um, stopping people, showing some real hand accuracy, showing some very stiff punches, man. But, it, you know, I wonder how he's gonna do if he steps it up a little bit, you know, because uh, Spence is no joke, man. You know, Spence is the type of fighter that uh, if you let him, he'll, he'll, he'll derail your whole career because uh, the way he finishes guys, it's hard to see them being the same after that because, uh, you know, the way he breaks you down so meticulously. Um, Virgil Ortiz is a lanky guy, though, so Spence isn't going to be able to enjoy that big size advantage that he has on his other op opposition. Um, but I still feel like Spence is a little bit more powerful than Virgil Ortiz. And um, when it comes to Virgil Ortiz's style, he kind of likes to walk his opponents down and kind of stand in the front of them. I don't feel like that's the the best style to fight a fighter like Spence. I feel like if you're gonna fight a fighter like Spence, you, you gotta use your feet work, man. Cause if you stay in front of him, he's gonna break you down. He's gonna break you down bad. He's gonna start at the body, and he's gonna finish at the head. You know, I like the way Spence breaks you down. He starts from the bottom to the top, you know, like he's chopping down a tree or something. Um. I feel like this fight will be a good fight in the beginning. It's going to be close and it's going to be action packed. But towards the mid to later round, Spence takes it in a dramatic finish. Go on with Spence on this one.